Hi, right, welcome to my video series. I'm going to show you how to set up Active Directory users and computers and basically set up users in Active Directory. Let's go over some of the options that are available for you. Uh, so we're, we're going to start Programs, Administrative Tools, Active Directory users and computers. We'll give that a second to move up. You can see I already made a couple of them. This is like Take 4. Uh, you can either right click over SPS users or whatever group you want it to go on. This is the default groups. I usually don't put anything in here because these are just like uh, all administrative accounts. And also, you can start playing different kind of policies when you get more advanced. It's easier to have something separate from all those users. So, since this is a small business server, I'm going to put them as SBS users. And we're going to go ahead and make a new user. And we're going to call it test4. And let's make a bit of password that you want. All right, and we're gonna to go ahead and take this off. Um, basically what this does is it forces the user to change the password the next logon. These are all fairly self-explanatory. I'm gonna set that one there and make it finish. This is test four. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just go over some of these options. These are just kind of administrative things where you can put like their address in stuff like that and then under the account the main thing here is you can actually change like the time that they can log in so you can basically say log on deny and just pick a you know just a big like swatch like that and they won't be able to log on so like say for instance you only want somebody logging on during normal business hours like would be you know like let's just say eight right so you can just say log on denied and then it's like you say it's like from eight to uh, six you can do log on permitted and then you can select from you know after six up to midnight and do log on denied and then they can only log on at that certain time. And another thing you can do is log on to. You can actually select, I have no computers here, but if I did, you can actually go click add and you can just keep adding computers in. So like say for instance you only want salespeople, if you went to the sales department, you would do that. And then the next thing is the profile path. Um, this is basically going to create a roaming profile, which means everything in the user, their documents, their desktops, even their roaming cache, like all that stuff is going to follow the user around. So they have all the same passwords or Outlook set up. It's really useful for environments where people move around to different desks, but they need to keep everything with them. There are also some other things that you can do, like a folder redirection, but this kind of gets everything. And to do this, you basically just put the UNC path of the server, mine's test server, any show you want. The default is user shares on this one that I'm going to use. And then if you put a percent username percent, it'll actually put the uh, per it'll actually put the username in. So I say for instance if I click apply, see so it actually changes that to test four. Log on script, this is useful if you want to map drives and don't know how to use group policy. You can actually make a log on script. The other things you can do is you can basically run a batch file, essentially is what this does. Home folder, this is going to change where their my documents goes. And basically like where um, not it's not gonna change where my documents goes, but when they actually click like you know start, like run, it'll actually this is where it'll default to. And a lot of times people will make it default to a network drive just for uh, document storage purposes. I don't really like using this. I think either a roaming profile is good for backup or using folder redirection are really the best ways to go. Telephone, this is just informational. You know, none of this stuff really makes a difference. Um, member of does because you can basically change uh, groups. So you can just add them to, say this test user, now you want them to be a account operator. You know, and this is where you would go to put that in. Um, we'll go to, this is just stuff for uh, remote desktop. And dial in, this is for things like a VPN connection. Um, if you don't like network policy, MPS server, you can just do allow or deny here. And that makes things a little bit easier sometimes. You know, the verify caller ID, this is almost like, a lot of this stuff doesn't get used anymore. This is for when people actually use modems to dial in and things of that nature. You know, would actually dial back to a specific number.